morning. We're having a run out. We're going to Brimington Crematorium. And at side of me is Michelle, the funeral director. Hello. Did you hear her? Hello. Anyway, sat behind Michelle is Kai. Rodney. But we call him Kai. Uh, and sat behind me is our Trevor. Say so morning lads. Good morning all. Good morning all. Hear them? So we uh, are on service. As I said, uh, we get about, we get all over bloody place. And this is lovely because we're in countryside on our way to Brimington. I'm doing 28 mile an hour. That's plenty fast enough for a funeral. Uh, do you want to say something, Michelle? Say hello to them all and have a chat. Hi. Is that it? Hi. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Uh, ladies who, whose service we're on, they haven't got no limousines on this funeral, so it's just us meeting family at crematorium. Uh, which I like actually because it costs a fortune for limousines. And if people's got their own cars, they don't really need them, they can make their own way. Although we have got limousines, as you'll see later. Keep taking my eye off you and watching the road because obviously I'm driving. So we've got two lads who's meeting us at Brimington. We've got Ratface, Stephen, <coughs> and Squeak, Glenn. And when you meet Glenn, you'll know why we call him Squeak. He's got a really high voice, but he's lovely. Nice guy. So they're already there at the moment, getting everything prepared for us. Uh, and family will be there once we arrive. Uh, it's a lovely day absolutely beautiful flowers smell absolutely amazing in earth don't they michelle yeah they do they beautiful do. flowers kyle never sell he's really quiet his girlfriend is called tony yes tony uh, well his partner i shouldn't say girlfriend should i his partner is called Tony and he's lovely, he's a right nice lad. Uh, so that's Kai, Kai's a right nice lad. And people say, Oh, he's a bit young to be doing that job, isn't he? Well, not really, he's perfect age because he's learning everything. Ask Tony this morning, Kai, he's all right, he says. Is brilliant. All quiet there. Kai is her son. He were an eagle with good twat. Uh, always in bed on his Xbox, whatever they call them, PlayStation all night. So Michelle says. Can we find him somewhere to do? I says, yeah, we'll have some game somewhere to do. We can come and give us an hand. So we set him on as our little apprentice. And he loves it. And he's right took to it. He's good at it. Learning everything. Trevor used to be a red coat, IDI and all that at Bucklins. We're IDI, weren't it, Trev? It were, but we don't like you using that phrase. Did you hear that? They don't like you saying IDI at Bucklins. But Trevor, you were a red coat. He were a welcomer, meeting and greeting people. I'm right, aren't I, Trev? You are right, but uh, it were a yellow coat, yeah. Yellow coat, sorry. He's always got an assessment different. He has, honestly. Anyway, Trev were a yellow coat. You don't wear a yellow coat here, we don't have yellow coats, we have black coats. Uh, same sort of thing, really making sure everybody's all right and we're at the beautiful chesterfield this is probably the nicest crematorium that i know people say oh grenocide's beautiful in it well 
If you want to see a beautiful crematorium, come to Brimington. It's kept amazing. Chesterfield Council are just... Other councils could learn a lot from them. City Road and Upcliffe Wood and Granaside are all right. Brimington is stunning. Uh, and when we get there, on the next one, I'll show you around it. Pristine. It's probably one of the nicest ones I've ever been to. It's about 15 miles or so from where we are. It's not one that we come to regularly. But I love coming here. Plus we get out in countryside. So it's a bit like a run out for us. A day out, in it? Yeah. Well, it doesn't take us a day, obviously. It's about 40 minutes. But it's just nice to have a run out. Does anybody want to say, oh, come on. Kai? No, he says I'm all right. This is what they all like. When we get back to our place, I'm going to take you around and show you David Emingham, the mortuary manager. Dave's lovely. Uh, he's a very nice guy. So I'm going to cut off now, because we're not far from Brimington. It's been nice to catch up with you all again, and I'll catch you all later when we get to Brimington. Bye-bye.